What's going on guys? So if you want to find out our thoughts on guest night access, stay tuned and watch. So this is the first time you come across this beautiful, bald, sexy bastard and sometimes I get awesome, smooth talking guests such as this guy here. What's up? And you like someone who really does not take themselves too seriously, trust me, this channel is very light hearted. So I talk about mostly designer fragrances, but sometimes niche. But today we're going to be talking about a sexy fragrance on depending on what the ladies say determines what I spray that not. This is this man's motive. So guys, today we're going to be talking about, this is just a, going to be a tester bottle that I got, but this is Guess Night Access. So this fragrance was actually launched in 2014 classification, I'm not exactly sure. But before I get into the notes, Rob, what do you get out of the test strip, man? Now this is a guest fragrance. Where do you get a fragrance like this from? I, I got this actually from Fragrance Net. Fragrance Net, Net for like under $20. Mm. A lot of these guest fragrances are very economical. This is, um, you get the citrus at the top. There's something spicy in this though, like a subtle spice and um, sweetness. Yeah, there is. He can't see my notes. He's not looking at the notes. <laughs> So I'm getting, um, yeah, I, I can't tell exactly what it is, but I get sweetness, I get a uh, subtle spice, and I get like your typical um, citrus, grapefruit, uh, uh, bergamot or something. Yeah. And the okay. top. Okay, well, I'll read off the notes, right? So the top notes are Elemi, Saffron. Now, what is Elemi? Elemi, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. Saffron is a spice, so you probably get Yeah, that's the saffron. Yeah, that's what I was And thinking. you get in the grapefruit note. The, mm -hmm. the mid is cedar and geranium, and the base is patchouli, tonka bean, and vanilla. So, so the tonka, yeah, the tonka bean and the vanilla is what's sweetening it up. So saffron is the, is the spice. Yeah. I'm not getting the geranium, though, because that's more like a rose scent. Like when That geranium kind of gives me like a, almost a rose uh, okay. vibe, but I'm not picking the rose or nothing up or for, geranium up in this. For me, I definitely get a very creamy vanilla with mm. spices. It t yeah. On my skin, this is pretty linear, so uh, nice. there is a bit of geranium or a floral component on my skin, mm -hmm. but uh, the scent is a little more so on the creamy, spicy end, if you will. Definitely, definitely. So when do, when would Coach Rob wear something like this? This would be a night out, actually. Yeah. I might be able to rock this at a club. I, I can okay. see myself um, wearing it because it has all the elements. It has the spice. It has the sweetness. Um, how's the performance? Have you worn this yet? Or? I've worn it. Yeah, oh, okay. I've been testing this one quite a bit. So performance is about four to five hours. So it's not great, but it's But that's good not, enough for the club. You know? Yeah, if you're yeah. just going out. So mm -hmm. out. Uh, four to five hours of projection is more on the moderate side. So this is not a big banger, though. Yeah, this would be an entry level for a guy who's just starting out. You're not really in the in the fragrances, but you want something that smells nice, something that most people wouldn't be wearing. Um, I don't think a lot of people would be wearing this I guess fragrance. Um, but it's unique in the, in the sense that not too many people are wearing it, but it has it has a subtle spice, the sweetness, things that women like. Kind of seductive. This, this, yeah, this is a nice fragrance, man. And that's the yeah, reason yeah. why that I asked you. So, okay, okay. so like what everybody talks about all the the other stuff. I want to talk mm -hmm. about something that's not getting any mention, right? So, yeah, yeah. Uh, you said night out. I would say definitely night out, but also mm -hmm. school. This has more of a youthful aspect to definitely it. Definitely youthful. Uh, seasons. When we, when would you wear this one? Um, here I can wear this in the day here in San Diego because this is the weather. It's 75, 70 degrees all year. So. Um, this wouldn't be cloying in that in that type of weather, but um, definitely at night. I might wear I'll, 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 every fragrance where you show me. I'm like I can wear it in the winter. I don't know. <laughs> true. I don't, yeah, I don't, true. I don't have a real winter, so <laughs> so when I say winter, guys, it's not his winter. It's no. San Diego winter, so it's different. But I, I can wear this for me. This is an all year round fragrance. And for me, this would be more of a spring all the way to the fall uh, mm -hmm. scent. So prices on this one, this is definitely very economical. Now the test trick cost me eighteen or nineteen dollars on fragrance nets. Uh, normally it has a, a little bit of a cap. On average, you're going to spend $20 to $25 for this. This is on Fragrance Net, Fragrance right. X, and I'm sure that you can pick this up at Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and so on. So Wife's thoughts on this one. Wife likes it quite a bit. She says it's pretty much just a sweet, spicy scent that mm -hmm. definitely has some sex appeal. Definitely. So final take on this one, Rob. Any final words? Um, try this one out, guys. You're not investing a lot. If you look, if you're one of those out there that's looking for some cheap fragrances, um, you want to just have something that you can spray on. Um, look into this one. It's not that bad. I normally wouldn't even look twice at this, but I don't want to be a fragrance snob. That's one thing I try to be true to is okay. not be a fragrance snob and just really try whatever comes to my nose. And surprisingly. This one is pretty good and I can see women really liking this yeah. one. Yeah. So uh, you pretty much said everything that I was going to say, <laughs> but I find that this is more so for the younger men out there. Yeah, definitely younger crowd. Definitely has uh, some sex appeal with that creamy vanilla and the spices. Perfect night out, 
budget friendly. Guys, yes, look into it. Uh, fun rating out of five? Um, I'll give this one about a 3.2. <laughs> Just to be different, yeah, eh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for me, this is a three and a half. So, uh, mm -hmm. this is more so suited for the younger guys than someone I find for me. But I personally, I do like to wear this one. So, I, I'll probably keep this one in my collection. Yeah, that's pretty, a pretty good one. So, is that it? Yep. Simple All right, brother. Thank you very much for doing no the video. Problem. Guys, I'm going to attach Rod's link down below. Make sure please, please check him out. So just to end this video off, what do you normally say? Depending on what the ladies say determines where I spray. Peace.